guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you part one of what I read in June. Uh, I read six books total in June. I showed you the first one already in my my last May wrap-up, which was Assassination Vacation by Sarah Val. I finished that on the first day of June. But So I read five books. I started and finished five other books in the month of June. I actually have already filmed this video once um, a couple days ago, and... After I finished filming it, I felt really lousy when I was filming it, and after I finished filming it, I just deleted it right away. And then right after I did that, I ate breakfast, and I felt like 10,000 times better. So basically, there's a life tip for you. If you're feeling lousy, maybe you should eat breakfast, and then you won't delete video footage that was probably okay. So anywho, I'm back again to try to film part one and part two again, and hopefully it'll go a bit better today. So, the first book that I started and finished in June was The Little French Bistro by Nina George. And I requested this from the little the Library of Things Early Reviewers Giveaway program. And I don't know why I did that because I gave The Little Paris Bookshop two stars and that was Nina George's first book. So I don't know why I thought I would like this. And uh, I apparently don't like Nina George because I gave this one two stars as well, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, this follows Marianne, and she's a 65-year-old woman, and she's been married to the same man for 45 years. And the man is not very nice, and he's not, you know, he doesn't love her. He never tells her he loves her. He never treats her nicely. And she, he won't let her drive the car, so she has to stay home all day. But um, at the start of the book, they're in Paris, and she's so depressed about her life and the fact that her husband doesn't love her that she decides she's going to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge in Paris. And she does that, and she gets rescued, and they take her to a mental hospital. And while she's at the mental hospital, she sees this painting of a beautiful island um, in Brittany, and or a, a beautiful town on the island of Brittany, and she decides she wants to go there. So she breaks out of the mental hospital and goes towards this town, and she gets there, and she gets a job as a cook at the hotel there, and she meets all these people, and she eventually meets the artist that created this painting that she fell in love with, and she falls in love with the artist. And it's all about her finding herself and realizing that life is worth living, and that even though she has, you know, been miserable for these whole long time. She still has the chance to start a new life. And, you know, it was okay. I just found it very cheesy. And um, I guess I didn't really feel very sympathetic to the main character, Marianne. Um, first of all, why is she not getting out of this marriage, like, way earlier? Second of all, like, once she gets to this island, she runs away twice because she feels like she doesn't deserve to be there. Even though literally everybody tells her that she's, like, great and that they love her. And that it's like, what? 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 And then, okay, Nina George has this thing. And it was in the Little Paris bookshop, too, where she thinks love, like, the theme of her books is that love conquers all. And that if you have found the love of your life, um... You know, life will go perfectly, and if you haven't found the love of your life, then life is going to suck until you do. And I don't think that's true in either case. I don't think life sucks until you find the person you're going to love, and I don't think your life automatically becomes better just because you find the person you love. So, uh, I just did not like this book, and I actually, the reason I don't have it is because I gave it to my mom, and my mom read it, and my mom actually really liked it, but my mom is probably more of the target audience, because she's closer in age to Marianne, but after my mom read it, she mailed it to a friend of hers who's in New Mexico, so that's why I don't have it, uh, but anyway, my mom liked it, so if you, your, your mom might like it, you know, I personally did not think it was that great, sorry to say, and I definitely will not be, um, asking for any more Nina George books from the Library Thing Giveaway program. I definitely should not have gotten this one. And also, I should not have gotten any books in the first place because I have too much to read. I really need to quit looking at the books that are available. Yeah, I really should. Okay, moving on to book two. The okay, book I finished in June was The Gift from the Sea by Anne Mara Lindbergh. Um, I got this from my mom and I have actually started this twice, and this was the third time I had started it, and I finally got through this. 
Um, Get From the Sea is a very short book, and it's sort of Anne Mara Lundberg's thoughts on what it means to be a woman and what it means to be a mother, and how the concept of womanhood is changing, sorry. And this was published in 1955, so I would say it's like sort of in the early stages of the feminist movement, you know, right when women were discovering that they could be more than mothers and they could be more than wives and that they can work outside the home and do all sorts of things that nowadays, you know, women take for granted that they can do. Um, you know, this is broken into chapters, one chapter about your marriage, one chapter about um, finding time for yourself, one chapter about simplicity of life, which of course nowadays is a really popular concept, but back then it was pretty new. Um, one, you know, one... Um, chapter on, you know, relationships that aren't marriage, but like friendships and things like that. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, once again, I don't think I have the target audience for this book. I'm not a mother. I'm not married. I'm not in middle age. There's another chapter about, um, being in middle age. Um, I could see myself reading this again in like 20 years and getting a lot more out of it. I only gave it three stars. Um, you know, it was okay. Uh, um, it wasn't for me. It wasn't, I wasn't the target audience, and so I didn't think it was that great of a read. Um, sad to say, I am glad that I got it done. I'm going to give it back to my mom, and my mom said she's going to give it back, um, give it away, because she doesn't think she's going to read it anymore, because she's no longer the tar target audience for it. And yeah, but uh, three stars, and that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. I know that was only two books, but it's already getting to be seven minutes, so I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to film part two, and I'll see you soon. Bye!